Welcome viewers to the SD online classes. This is class 10 MBSC Mizoram Board of School Education chapter 2 of Science Physics. The name of the chapter is the human eye and the colorful world. We have already finished in our previous lecture what is human eye, what is its uh, diagram and how are the different parts of the eye enab enable us to see things. And also we did power of accommodation, near point, far point, etc. Okay, today's, in today's class, what we are doing is you can go to your page number 49 of your textbook and see the same thing. Today we will be going to study defects of vision. What are the defects? What are the defects that we have in our eyes? There are four types of defects. So those we will discuss, be discussing one by one. What are they? Let's see. Now defect of vision is this. When an eye loses its power of accommodation, you remember power of accommodation was that which is the ability to see near object or far object or basically it is the ab ability of our eyes to adjust, to see things. If that adjustment is very good, our eye has good power of accommodation. But if it is not very good, when the eye loses with age or with other things, to see nearby, remember nearby, or distant object also sometimes the eye is able to see near but not very far and sometimes good in eye far distance but not good in near or sometimes both also so it is said the it is said to be suffering from a kind of disease suffering suffer, suffering from defect of vision okay now we'll see what are the types there are types okay be, you, why this happens because inside the eye we have the lens eye lens okay the eye lens you remember it is a convex lens if that is defective in some way, you are going to have defective eye in the one or the other way. So what are the types? Let's see the types. Types are, here you see in this type of defect, this is called myopia or short sightedness number one. A person can see nearby object, near things very good. Clearly it can see, but it is not able to see far objects distinctly distinctly is important okay you have to see things in the at the far also distinctly then only it is said that your eyes are totally good if it is not able to see far objects distinctly this is called myopia or short sightedness short sightedness means short you can see far you cannot see let us understand with the help of some diagram now you see in this diagram the far point of a myopic eye why it is defect why it is not able to see far object is because if an object is somewhere here, not very far, far but not very far, then this rays are able to converge by the, the by the convex lens of the eye to this retina. Okay, here it can make. But this should not happen here. Actually, this should happen with parallel ray, uh, rays of light, which is not possible for a myopic eye. Myopic eye cannot make this adjustment with the line which is coming from infinity it is only possible only with some far point which is nearer than the infinity it should happen this should happen this should happen for the infinity line but it is not happening we'll see in the second diagram what is the defect this is the starting point now look at this diagram b when the light is coming from infinity very far okay that is why it is coming parallel this parallel it is coming here a good eye will converge it here because its focal length is exactly this length but a myopic eye will do somewhere here so it will not be able to see properly okay it, it is only possible to see if things are here but it will not be clear so this is the defect of the myopic eye a short-sightedness person will see something coming from infinity like this here so that means clearly it is not able to see far objects distinctly now light rays coming from infinity will come parallelly this but its eyes is such that it can only see not very far object i'm not saying near okay not very far object at its focus my uh, focus means here the distance of the eye lens to the uh, retina the the screen okay here and now uh, here in this case when the light is coming from very very far at that time this is the eye lens is not good or the this uh, part is not good so that is why i'm not able to make this here okay this is the defect this is the defect okay now and the third diagram i'll show how to correct it what will make it correct okay 
this is I remember what we will do we will put some glass here what type of glass your spectacle okay that we will do in the diagram next now let us see the correction correction for myopic eyes when the ray of light is coming from infinity like this okay now there is my eyes inside the lens here it is ready to converge it here ready to converge it here but I will not allow it to do I will put one glass here which is concave lens this is what you wear specs okay concave lens okay even my glass is also like this this glass is concave lens okay as you can see it is thick here and thin at the middle okay this type of lens is added here so this lens what it will do is it will make this light coming from somewhere here it will make it come from somewhere here appear as if it is coming from here why because it is making this light here and then you remember the diagram one this lens will now think that the light is coming from here just like this diagram one okay see from here it is coming then it is okay it is ready to make the image here so now it will do what it will make this image from here from here not here okay from here it is ready from here it is ready now what it will do is okay so this because of the concave lens the inability of this lens it was not able to focus the image here here now it is able to do so what you need for correcting a myopic eye a concave lens okay so what are the causes why this happens causes number one curvature of the cornea curvature of the cornea what is cornea let us see the cornea is this one look at see the cornea was this one this curvature is not up to the mark with the with by birth this happens okay this is not as round it should be so this can happen by this it is a natural the uh, inability of the eye when with your birth this can happen so this is called curvature of the uh, cornea is not normal okay so its focal length decreases and the rays coming from the object after refraction from the lens meet before the retina then what will happen it will meet before the retina i will not write the detail number two is elongation of the eyeball of the eyeball when the anteroposterior length of the eyeball is more than normal the distance between the retina and the lens increases distance between the retina here this line is retina retina and the lens increases okay elongation of the eyeball this in some eyes this this part is like this elongated part just like egg okay so if this happens this is more okay if this is more then it will not be able to hit the screen here this is the screen means retina so the focal length will be always shorter here and then this type of uh, suffering will be there in your eyes okay and correction is what correction is using concave lens you have already seen how it is used of suitable focal length focal length will make it possible to see okay so this way it is made to correct what it does it diverges the light actually what it does is it diverges the light to go away here okay this when this parallel light comes diverges and then it will easily focus here so this is all for the first one okay we'll continue in the second one again